Virtually anyone with a smartphone has taken a selfie, but many iPhone users have become frustrated by the way it takes the photos. For example, selfies captured in an app like Snapchat looks exactly as you'd expect, but when using the iPhone's camera app, the selfie is automatically flipped after it's taken, so the photo you're left with doesn't quite look the same as when you took it. So why do so many devices like iPhone flip your selfies when you never ask them to? Well, it has to do with the different perspectives of a selfie. Imagine taking a traditional photo, where your eye and the camera lens are pointed in the same direction. The photo turns out exactly as you'd expect, because there's no difference in perspective. Now, think about a selfie, where your eye and the camera are facing opposite directions. This presents the device with a problem. Should it display the mirrored perspective of the user, or the more realistic perspective of the camera? Because if you were looking into a mirror, you would see a flipped version of yourself, with writing across your shirt appearing backwards although this wouldn't be what your friend standing across the room saw. To them, the writing on your shirt would be oriented correctly. This perspective issue has challenged software companies ever since the concept of selfies were invented. Apps like Snapchat display a mirrored preview of the user while maintaining the mirrored perspective after a photo or video is taken. This may feel most natural since what a user sees is what they get, but it also means text will appear backwards since it's essentially a mirrored version of reality. Triller took a different approach, displaying the true or real perspective of photos and videos by removing the mirror effect entirely. But the problem was that users found it frustrating to orient shots since their right side would appear on the left side of the preview area, making the process of taking photos and video feel unnatural. Apple combined both Snapchat's mirrored effect and Triller's true perspective in their approach to taking selfies. In the iPhone's camera app, users are shown a preview of their shot with a mirror effect, which makes taking a photo feel more natural, but after it's captured, the mirror effect is removed, giving users their photo's true perspective without backwards text or images. This appears to be the best solution to the selfie issue, although it's been annoying to many people. Since we're not used to seeing our own faces from the true perspective of others, we've grown accustomed to seeing ourselves in a mirror. That's why in iOS 14, Apple added the option to keep a photo's mirror effect even after it's taken. So what you see on the screen is what you get, even if it may not be the true perspective that others see in real life. This is Greg with Apple Explained. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.